1980 MGB GT. It's a four-speed manual, three-wheel drive on the stick. As I say, it's got chrome bumpers, but it is a 1980. It's been a, it's a chrome bumper conversion, this one. As you see, uh, the inventor informed us he left the original rubber bumper springs on because he preferred the way it rided. Road, right? Road. 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 That was a bad bit of English reader, wasn't it? Right, body weight wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around the car, onto the interior, and then we'll go for a cold engine start up. Nice and straight up the middle of the bonnet there. There's a few little imperfections under the paint here and there on this one, and it does want a bit of a flat polish in places. It's just a little bit peely in places. A little bit flat on the paintwork side of things here and there, but very, very presentable. Nice and usable. And again, MG's on the way back round again. Go up onto the roof there. We'll have a quick look at the roof here. Nice and tidy across the roof. The odd little bird poo mark, and like I say, the odd little sort of little nib in the paint here and there. It is 2K, so it's quite easy to rectify some of that. But nice and straight, no dings or dents across the bonnet there. Nice and presentable, but a few little imperfections in the paint here and there. Come back up to the scuttle and down that passenger wing top. Headlights are nice and clear on both sides. Chrome grille is all intact there. No bits missing out of that. Nice and shiny, a few little dings and dents in it. Side lights and indicators are all good. You'll see the chrome bumpers have been like they've been powder coated. They've got a bit of a shine to them, like a sort of mottled finish on them there. Do the lower valence, I think they've been, they look, it looks like powder coat to me. Don't hold me to that though. As we come round onto the driver's front wing, again, nice and tidy on the lower half section. A few little marks in the paint there. No rust coming through that I can see though. Just had, uh, I was informed, had, uh, the wheels have just been refurbed. All silver Ross styles there with Toyo tyres all the way around. Nice and tidy up the top of the wing top again. Some light scratching where it's been washed and the paint sort of dropped back. It's had a paint job at some point this one. Nice and presentable though. Across the lower half of the sill section all nice and tidy there. You can see you've got your proper gaps there. There's no seam filler all the way up the gap like normal. Nice and presentable across the lower half of the driver's door and up onto the top of again. A few little bits and pieces in the paint here, but no major corrosion, no big dings or dents of that and see anywhere. Nice and tidy around the rear arch, a few little marks on the arch itself there. We'll go around the lip nice and slow, have a good look at that on that rear quarter again. A little bit of peel in the, in the paint here and there, but overall nice and presentable. I will stick the camera underneath so you can have a good look at that there. Up onto the top half of the quarter, nice and straight on the right hand side. Nice and tidy down that whole right hand side. I do like the one colour frost styles there, all nice and clean. No problems at all with those. Light lens on the right hand side, all nice and tidy. The seam on the right hand side is really good. There's no rust coming through there at all on the seam. As we come around the back of the boot, we get a few little marks in the paint here and there. And a little bit of peel, a little bit of dust under the paint. But all nice and presentable across the back. No corrosion around the handle or around the barge. Nice and tidy down the lower half with the chrome. Inserts there. We've seen a couple of conversions these days where people don't put those in for some reason, but nice and tidy where the plate's been put in. Rear light lenses on the left hand side, all nice and straight and all nice and presentable across the back. We'll do the lower valance as well so you can have a good look at that there. As we come round onto. Bad camera work today, I apologise about that. Onto the left hand rear quarter, again, across the seam, all nice and crisp. A few little bits and pieces in the paint itself, but all nice and presentable. Down that left hand rear quarter, around the arch lip, with some dodgy camera work there. And then we'll come back round on the paint side of things, all nice and shiny and fresh on that lower quarter there. Again, matching Toyo all the way around, with the freshly powder coated Ross style wheels. We'll do the sill section. We've got no rust, no blubbering on the bottom half of the sill section, all nice and tidy on the lower half of the wing, all nice and shiny on that lower section as you work your way up onto the top again. The other little bit in the paint that like I have mentioned, a uh, good flat and polish would square some of that away, that's for sure. But all nice and presentable, no heavy marking around the handle and back down that passenger wing top onto the arch. Again, lovely and tidy, very, very usable car this one. You wouldn't have any sort of Problems part on that on the local classic car show, you'd be quite happy with that, that's for sure. On to the interior now. Oh. Nice and tidy on the door card. 
no nastiness there, no big rips or tears, all nice and tidy. The seat itself, no rips or tears. The cloth has come away at the back section there. You pull them round and they've got sort of staples on the back, but no rips or tears to your cloth seats. Nice aftermarket steering wheel there. Dash top's lovely and tidy. The dash itself's in really good condition. The paint hasn't flaked off anywhere. It's lovely and tidy across the dashboard. Your dial's are nice and clear, easy to be read. It's showing 64158 in the miles there. Lovely and straight down the centre console. Like I say, four speed with the overdrive. Headlining's nice and clean as well. No rips or tears to the headlining. I lift this seat forward. Local MG Club there, pillow. Back seat like most MGs, no rips or tears, not much use to those at all. All nice and straight on the back seat. Into the boot now. Got some carpet there in the boot. Boot carpet itself is all good. I'm going to come get James to lift up the boot floor for me because dodgy harm there. If you wouldn't mind lifting the boot floor up, James, we'll do the left hand side again. Nice and tidy on the left hand side door card. The seat itself is lovely and straight. We've got no rips or tears again to the passenger seat, all nice and firm. Fold the seat forward, both seats folding forward as they should. No knackered wires there. And again, from the left hand side, have a look at that headline as well. Into the boot floor, James has lifted that up there. Again, fifth Ross style wheel painted. Toyota with the Toyo tyres all the way around. So you've got a proper spare wheel there. I think that's damask red, if I'm right. Yeah. If I'm wrong, somebody will definitely be telling us that. On the old YouTube video, open the bonnet now. It is missing the little stalk off the other side of the bonnet, but it opens fairly easily, so that's not a concern. All nice and tidy in there. I'm going to go for the cold engine start with a little bit of choke on and it'll fire into life. We'll check the oil pressure as well. Bit of choke, James. A little bit of choke there. Check the oil pressure. Oil pressure straight off. It's on cold start up there, so we'll have one a little bit of choke on, but there you have it. A 1980 MGB GT chrome bumper conversion there. Nice wheels and tyres all the way around. Nice little user that one. Again, coming back up in value. That long last those little GTs. 